Hey everyone, welcome back to another Anime Kingdom Manga Reviews. See my title below, yes, this is on chapter 519 of Fairy Tale. And yeah, this chapter, what the hell? It, end, <laughs> it ended with, of course, Urza. Uh, the one the one thing I said in the last chapter, I was like, this cannot, this is probably the least likely to happen. Yeah, it ends up happening. I, I don't know why I even like, think something else is going to happen every single time. If it has Urza in the fight, it's gonna end with some bullshit ending of her somehow, even though she shouldn't be able to do it, the power of family, the power of Nakama, like, fuels her and she's able to do the impossible literally every single time. It's like, whenever you have Urza in a fight, it's always like, holy shit, she cannot do this, you know? We have her in this one, for goodness sakes, where her bones are all broken. She literally... All her bones are broken from Irene smashing her down with one hit in her dragon form. How the hell is she able to push herself off the ground super high into the air, may I add, because obviously she stopped the meteor quite a while it was off before it hit the ground, and then is able to destroy a damn meteor. A meteor. How is that possible? Please tell me how that's possible. Oh my gosh, I don't understand that part at all. Oh, and then this part, the next part after that, it makes sense. You know, obviously her sword would not be able to break and, you know, kill um, Irene because she's in her dragon form. The only way to defeat a dragon is Dragon Slayer magic. Which, of course, obviously means that Wendy was able to use her enchanting power to enchant her sword. And thus, that was pretty cool considering we've never seen Wendy use her, you know, powers to enchant uh, non-human you know thing before it's always been on you know enchanting people's power levels and defenses and you know all that kind of stuff but we've never seen her enchant like a sword or something which is honestly pretty cool considering yeah it's never happened before so that made sense that was pretty smart that was pretty cool that is one thing that could have made the whole urza destroying the meteor thing make sense if they just decided to have wendy enchant her with something to power her up and put her defenses up so she's able to destroy the meteor that right there would make sense i would be like okay okay it was thanks to wendy they both did it together you know but no the kill the you know wounding gravely wounding irene made sense because the dragon slayer magic on her sword her somehow broken body guys may i add completely broken bones everywhere is able to push herself straight up in the air super high up and destroy a meteor yeah okay thanks Mashima that makes sense always doing this I swear <laughs> like what the hell especially with Urza like every single time it doesn't make sense but um, after that I know <laughs> this is another thing that a lot of people were hating the whole you know I always loved you thing and I completely understand why people would hate on that kind of stuff but usually if it was any other villain and you know the whole forgiving the villain thing it for me at least i would be completely pissed off at anyone else like oh my gosh it ends with like you know and en ending up like this obviously he doesn't you know we're not going to have any of the main characters die it's never going to happen it seems like so the only way is to have the villain do something completely like un like this would normally not happen and yeah they do it this time with irene end up killing herself but this is the one that i'll i'll let go because it did make sense in my opinion and it did get emotional it made sense on why she always loved her it's her you know she's the mother and we did see that sure before the many times that she's talking she's crazy and everything and she says she wanted to enchant herself into you know urza's body and she gave her away because she you know she was useless and that didn't work out but that wasn't the reason she gave her away. It ends up, you see that she was like, oh, I finally enchanted myself into your, my personality, into your body, in this body and everything. And you can see that Urza starts laughing and she's like, don't laugh, you know, don't make me stop, stop me from doing this. And she can't do it. She can't kill Urza. Why? Because she cares about her. Because she loves her. Even though she's been through literally so much shit we, that we've, you know, they've explained in this whole arc. And it really does make sense why she's ended up the way she is. She cannot kill her, and ends up, you know, out of you know, sacrificing everything to let Urza live a normal life. So she leaves her in that village. Obviously, she didn't know what was going to happen. That you know, that happened right there. 
uh, all that bull crap to Urza. She didn't know that was going to happen. She just thought that was the right thing to do because if she, she was going to get more and more crazy and she probably would have done it, enchanted herself into Urza's body. So instead of doing that, she left her there and thus how Urza, you know, ends up being for the better anyway because Urza was able to join Fairy Tale and all this kind of good stuff happened to her now. So she has a new family and everything. It, she has a happy life and that's because of the choice her mother made. So it, in the end, I do understand that she did always love her sure she was still kind of psycho and crazy but you can you can understand that right i i definitely can understand that at least and um it made sense that in the end you know so i told you that was gonna happen something was gonna happen where it changes her mind and she's like yeah i do love you or something like along those lines and it ends up being urza kind of laughing smiling you know when she's down on the ground about to you know get killed by irene and it reminds Irene of that one moment and just like then the you know it made a great saying that she says she's the strongest woman there in um that kingdom I can forget what Alvarez I forget what it's called um but yeah she's the strongest woman there but she can't kill Urza she's the one person that she can't kill and it it made a very emotional thing you know I'm not saying I you know cried my heart out in it but it was damn emotional it made sense on why you know she ended up doing that. Why she killed herself to sacrifice, kind of, you know, for Urza. Now, I'm not too sure if she's really dead yet. Um, I think it would be cool to see her versus, you know, Agnolia, the king of the dragons, versus the queen of the dragons. It would be some pretty cool-ass stuff. Um, especially considering that's, like, the main thing she was trying to do in the first place was kill him. Um, so I think she may come back alive and try and save the day, maybe. Um... You never know what fairy tale to be honest on who really is dead for sure. Most people don't really die actually. Um, so you honestly never know. But one good thing now that this whole, you know, Urza versus um, Irene, mother versus daughter part in this arc is over. To which, like I said, I know a lot of people did not like this this part and i i can understand why uh, there's a lot of parts that i really just it, it made it feel like a waste of time especially like it ends like this really and it ends with urza somehow destroying the meteor as well like countless things like what the hell ends with her mother of course the strongest woman there who seems to be unstoppable who should be able to kill her obviously not able to do it but it makes sense like i said with the mother daughter thing if it was anyone else like some random guy and he was gonna kill urza and then, of course, they make it so Urza doesn't die. That right there, I would call bullshit and the normal fairy tale, no one dying kind of thing. Except obviously Makarov before. Um, but this was this one made sense for the mother, you know, Irene, not to kill her, and she really loved her all along. It, it made sense in my opinion, at least. Um, but yeah, like I said, that's my opinion. Maybe you feel differently. That's fine. That's completely fine. But that's my opinion on how I felt about everything. But like I said, I'm definitely excited for what's going to come in the next chapters. Now that we're going back to Natsu, as you saw in the preview title for Chapter 520, it's going to be on. It's going. It's called Dragon or Demon, something like that. Demon or Dragon. Um, so I can't wait to see what's going to happen there. Finally, get back into the craziness that is going on inside of Natsu right now. I can't wait to see. You know, is he a, you know a deep full-on demon or is he a dragon? What's going to be stronger? Or is he just going to become? super overpowered and somehow beat Zeref. I'm not too sure, but I'm definitely excited to see what's going to be happening now that we're done with this and now that we're going back to Natsu. And yeah, it's really all I got to say, guys. Hope you enjoyed this anime Kingdom manga review. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below this anime and you want to talk about comment below as well. And if you did enjoy it, don't forget to like if you haven't already. Feel free to subscribe for more content. And um, yeah, it's all I really got to say, guys. So until next time, see ya. Yeah.